If you think about it for a moment, it's difficult to speak about well-being without speaking about equity. That equity would seem to be a precondition to well-being. How can I have well-being if I'm in a, learning or working in a situation in which there are imbalances insofar as our staff is concerned, imbalances as far as our leadership is concerned, and so on. We've got our Ontario Human Rights Code. In the wake of the, of the development of the code, and you know, the Universal Declaration was just, all it was was a set of values. No rules, just values. You know, uh, freedom from this, freedom from that, freedom from the other. The Ontario Human Rights Code, same thing. Freedom from discrimination on this ground and that ground and so on. But what people have been trying to do ever since those documents were penned was to make sense of them in particular circumstances. I see the ministry's educational equity plan as another step in trying to make sense of that promise of equality. And that's why what it takes is an approach that is about systems. It's about changing the way we do things in education. Right now, we've got a situation where we've got 72 boards in Ontario. Look at, I'll lay odds that whichever province you're from, this, is, this statistic rings true for you as well. 72 boards in Ontario. I walk in the room with the, with the directors several weeks ago, one racialized person, one indigenous person. That's got to change. That has just got to change. Because you change that, and you change the discussion about what education is. You change the discussion about what well-being is, about what equity is. Guaranteed. It's also the case that when it comes to our student base, who our students are, we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> we don't have data telling us who they are. Some boards do, and other, but most don't. And so now in Ontario, we have 15 boards that have come together that include the majority of the students in the province to begin looking at that data and who the students are, where the issues might be with regard to systemic barriers for those students, and to begin to apply people's minds to solving those problems, because equity demands that we do that, and because well-being is, is founded on making sure that we do that. 